Daryl Linnington here from IT News Africa and I'm here in New York at the Dell EMC IQT Strategy Day. I'm joined by Ashley Gorok Pawala who is responsible for de development of Dell EMC's broad service solution portfolio including Power Edge platforms. So Ashley, can you tell me a bit more about uh, Dell IoT, Dell's IoT solution infrastructure offerings? Sure, thank you. Um, I think the biggest news that we had today was that Michael's forming a entire division from Dell Technologies around IoT and offering solutions to our customers and also pledging that we'll uh, be investing a billion dollars in R&D across the next three years just on these IoT solutions. So one of the uh, aspects of Dell Technologies that makes us so powerful for our customers is that we're end-to-end. -end. From the sensor um, put together by other companies and partners, from that point on, from, from the edge, gateways, core, to the cloud and cloud-like capabilities, managing it and securing it, Dell has solutions to provide either a piece of that or the entire solution. That's something other companies just can't do. So how will these solutions assist companies in Africa become IoT ready? Sure. Um, what's really important to be IoT ready is to understand what you're trying to do. And where Dell can help is that most companies can understand what their, uh, their goal is, their business is. Are they helping with uh, traffic? Are they trying to build systems to help people see? Are they identifying images? Are they a search engine? But they don't know how to put together the entire solution to harness all the capability, the data, the insights that they have. We can help them with that. And so I think what's important is to understand the, uh, the business goals that the company has. Uh, what they're trying to do. We heard today, for instance, about um, a fantastic um, cu customer of ours who's using technology to uh, grow uh, leafy greens at a rate of a hundred times more product than um, a, a normal farmer, and it's a technology. And so they understood their goal was to be much more productive in farming, we understood how to put the solutions together with them, and then they understand the, the data and, and how to use the insights. So how important is it for companies to prepare for the Internet of Things? Incredibly important. Um, a couple things. One, if data is the fuel of the new economy, and you have data sitting in your company not providing you or your customers with insights, it's being wasted. And if your competitor is better at that, you're not going to win in the marketplace. Second is people need to understand a few things about uh, IoT and that it stretches what they thought of IT off to places where it hasn't been before. Different environments and different threats. And so one on the environmental part, you have to prepare to know that if you have a factory, a farm, if you're out in the field on an oil rig, these are different environments than your data center and you need to build systems that can stand those environments and uh, be reliable in those environments. Second is that as more and more of our things around us become um, IT driven, software driven, yeah. it's really important that we secure them. And so preparing themselves for the security differences from the field, the sensor, all the way back through the data center and managing that is really, really important based on the fact that this will become an important part of data and people will want to either take it from you or change that data in order to cause problems. And so really security and the environmental is something everyone needs to prepare for. Okay, so stepping away from IoT, what is Dell doing in the AI and machine learning space? Sure. Once you have the data, it's come off sensors, you've streamed it, you've stored it, um, you understand it, you may have even made some local decisions on it. What's important to know is if you're going to do this real time, that uh, we can't wait for a human to visualize something, tell the computer what to do, and change an outcome. And we always use the example of an autonomous car. You really don't want it calling back over the network to a cloud to say, should I turn left or right? Should I avoid a pedestrian or go forward? You want a local decision to be made. A local decision is going to be made by a machine. That machine has to learn. And so machine learning and practical uses of AI, such as um, deep learning for recommendation engines online, uh, what do people like, not like, 
all the way down through, should I turn left or right in this car, are really important uh, to do in order to use the data and turn it into insights. To do that, it's, it's different math. So it's more single precision, multi-parallel, large data sets, um, training um, lar on large data sets, and then turning that training algorithm into inference engines that go forward. So what Dell's doing is we've built the platforms, we have many of the solutions and software to manage it, and then we'll partner for the frameworks uh, that today are becoming uh, more and more common for doing um, machine learning, libraries that are already built out for machine learning, and finally the software to kind of manage that aspect. So we've built an ecosystem around it and then they, a customer can start with us and we can help build that ecosystem for them. Okay, so you mentioned uh, autonomous vehicles and everything. When, when do you see these vehicles becoming mainstream? Sure, what, what uh, we see from our IT lens is that uh, most anyone in the transportation or auto industry has some form of autonomous vehicle um, capability that they're trying to develop. It's either going to become a competitive threat to their business or it's going to become something that they can differentiate with. Now, the, one of the biggest things is building out the data set necessary so that the machine itself is smart enough. And what we're helping most of our customers with today is the fact that as a car drives around and learns about its environment, what happened, rules of the road, maps, things like that, it's an enormous amount of data from all the sensors. Just sometimes moving it through networking is very, very difficult. And then learning with it. And so we already store half the world's mission critical data. We're going to store much more going forward. And I think if you see the rate of innovation happening in this area, the investments happening in this area, I don't think it'll be long. Um, already today, you know, uh, some vehicles can, you can take your, your hands off, there's already trucks coming out. Um, I think the grids are getting ready to be established, so uh, it'll be years, not decades, when we can have autonomous vehicles. Okay, so shifting away from autonomous vehicles, Michael Dull mentioned IQT this morning. Can you elaborate on this acrom acronym? Sure. So, IoT, usually Internet of Things, um, meant to describe the now billions, but frankly going to trillions of sensors and things that are smart enough today, have enough compute intelligence today, to bring data away from the physical world and bring it into the digital world. So that's the Internet of Things. We believe that uh, that's just the start. That's the, the journey of the data is not to get off the sensor, it's to do something with it. And in most cases, you get to figure out, is there signal here or is there noise here? And that's, that's really the problem is, uh, today we're sitting in a room, we have lights around us, uh, those lights may be on a smart sensor, but right now the sensor's just saying on, 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 on. That's not interesting data. Yeah. When it changes to off, that's interesting data. When it changes back to on, that's interesting. So having some intelligence, and i.e. an IQ uh, about it, is really the way to turn all that data into analytics and then into insight. And so we believe that it's not necessarily about just establishing the Internet of Things, but what you do with it and how you change that physical world into a digital world. So there we have it. That's everything unpacked for what you need to know about what Dell is doing in the IoT, AI, and machine learning space. Thank you very much for your time, Ashley. Thank you.